Hi everyone, in this video scenario I am going to explain you about the complete written filing procedure for GSTFO and for this procedure we required July and August and September purchase details including business to business it means uh, registered purchases at the same time unregistered purchases and offline utility also verified. Here, I'm just go, going to preview the gist of I'm just going to show. Look here, for after once coming, getting login by your either in the password, just click on uh, dashboard. See here, first of all, you need to select your return filing period. Okay, it may be for July to September, it may be for now, it is now we are in under July to September. So, here, just select the first one. See here, there is an option has been given quarter returns for registered persons opting for conversion. First, we have to intimate our turnover details. After that, we need to prepare offline. First, I'm clicking on just intimate. By clicking on intimate, the screen will be open here. You need to enter your aggregate turnover for the last financial year at the same time for the last quarter. It means so April, May, June also. Then after that, you need to click on save. Yeah, now then you need to download and install your offline utility. Look here. Then in offline utility, you need to enter total your purchase records. The same time even the sales turnover also. So here by going the, the by going uh, just start common portal by clicking on downloads. Just go for offline tools. Just common portal. Just uh, just open your site or uh, dot and click on uh, downloads and click on offline tools. There again again GSTR4 utility tool. Okay, you need to download the file and then again you need to install it the same. Then you need to fill each and every your purchase details at the same time the total sales turnover details. Just I'll show. Just I'm trying to install my just uh, uh, just extract the same file. Now this is your Excel offering utility. In this in this Excel offering utility, you need to enter each and every your purchase details and the sales turnovers. Look okay, here, this is for instruction help help page. The first sheet will be the for help purpose only, and the second second page will be for home. And here we need to first understand what is the option has been given in the first page. The first box is open downloaded G downloaded JSTR4 JSON file. Means here, whenever our counterparty has been uploaded their sales record in their concept in our concept that is equal to purchases. We need to download JSTR4 auto draft from the portal. Then that file we supposed to open by using this option. The second main thing is generate JSON file to upload. Whatever the data we already feeded in this Excel sheet, in this uh, Excel sheet, next sheet the data of B2B. So now I'm just opening B2B in this same sheet. So here you can observe 4B inward supply received from registered supplies. In this sheet, you need to enter each and every business to business purchases. In the next again, there is another option here. For C, this is for B2 unregistered. What are the purchases you made from outside person? That too, from unregistered dealers. The next one, the, in the sixth column, in the section, you, you need to enter the, the total tax of total sales turnovers. To import the data from these sheets, you need to click on generate JSON file to upload. Whenever we are clicking on generate JSON file to upload, it will generate a JSON file. That file we supposed to upload on the portal. Now I am just opening my uh, phobia option. This is about business to business. In this sheet, we need to enter your total business to business it means total registered purchases including just number including invoice number date of purchases simply invoice value tax rate tax, tax value also here i'm just filling the data in this cells here i'm putting only the example data for all these things 
यू आर हेयर पाइप क्लिकिंग ऑन चूज फाइल यू सपोज टू अपलोड दट एक्सपोर्टेड जेस वन फाइल टू द गवर्नमेंट नो हेयर आप जो शो इन द लाइव डेमो टू यू हाउ टू फिल जे एस टॉफ ओ अगेन लुक द फर्स्ट कॉलम जी एस टी आई एन एंड दिस इज माई बी टू बी दिस इज माई बी टू बी बिजनेस टू बिजनेस रजिस्टर्ड पर्चेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू एनेबल द मैक्रोज एंड द फर्स्ट कॉलम द फर्स्ट टेबल यू नीड टू एंटर यू आर जी एस टी आई एन नंबर एट द सेम टाइम सेलेक्ट की ऑफ्रेंड ही हो एंड अगेन सेलेक्ट की और क्वार्टर पीरियड ऑल्सो दैट्स अबाउट जुलाई टू सेप्टेम्बर एंड दिस इज दिस इज फ्रॉम योर बेस पेज दिस इज योर होम पेज एंड नेक्स्ट जस्ट गो फॉर फो बी ऑप्शन एंड नाउ इट्स योर नाउ बाई बाई डिफॉल्ट ऑल द डाटा हैज़ बीन नथिंग नाउ इट इज एम टी डाटा राइट आफ्टर फिलिंग द डाटा इन नेक्स्ट शीट मीट मीन्स फोर बी फोर सी इन दिक्स ऑप्शन इन यू क्लिक ऑन जनरेट आफ्टर दैट ऑल दिस ऑल द डाटा विल बी इंपोर्टेड टू दिस लाइन्स दिस सेक्शंस लुक इन हेयर आई जस्ट ओपन See, now it is showing only empty. Whenever you are feeding the data in the next sheet, the data whenever you are clicking on generate, automatically it will be generated from next sheet to the this section. Now here I am just clicking on B to B, four to B, business to registered. Section part is just number date of invoice. This is just even regular. Uh, again mention invoice value. This is under tax value. Whenever you are selecting the tax rate and the tax value, automatically it will calculate. Central and state tax also. If you are selecting the different state, it will calculate automatically even integrated tax also. But it is mandatory to enter the total invoice value. And one more thing, the taxable value and the tax should be get should get match with total invoice value. Then after after completing each and every invoice, each and every uh, every row, just click on validate. So the sheet, the sheet successfully validated. No errors. For if you are putting any wrong in, in, in data in this, automatically give a message to you. Now here for for you purpose, I'm just uh, making making a wrong and putting zeros. And I'm, after that, I'm clicking on validate. Here give me a message. These uh, these are error in the. So now it, the error will be shown in the red mark. Look here. Now I entered the wrong JS number. By default, so here it is showing like this. So I just entered some extra zeros to show you. Now it was the it was the right JS number. Then click on again validate sheet. Now it is a sheet successfully valid. Now there is no errors in this sheet. So like that, you need to fill each and every purchases details in this one. Yeah. Now this is about invoice supplies received from unregistered suppliers. So whenever you are purchasing goods from a under dealer, then you need to enter all the, that type of details in this sheet. And here it, it doesn't require to write any number. Just mention directly invoice number, invoice date, date of issue at the same time invoice value, the place of supply, and again uh, supplier type. You can write into the same as like would be, but here it doesn't require to write any. Just number of the product because of this is only about unregistered dealers. After filling the data in this sheet also, then again click on validate. See, so, and be ensure each and every sheet should have zero errors. Then only the report will be generated. Now even in this sheet also there is no any errors. So next one is this is also about the credit note or debit note. Now here in the in my business I I am not able to access all these things. So I just I just I don't want. See here in this six, one of the main thing again here in six tax on outward supplies. In this sheet you need to enter your total sales record. Okay, how much of sales you did? What is the what is the total sales turnover in, in this quarterly period? You need to enter in the sheet. No, I am a trader. So yeah. Now I'm a trader, so I'll enter here uh, the chargeable. Uh, I supposed to pay only one percent tax on my total turnover. If you are a manufacturer, you supposed to pay two two uh, percent. But even this also now the the, the loss GST council even this also reduced to one only. And for restaurant, they should maintain. They should pay five percent on total turnover. Be ensure for the second option for the second percent rate that was reduced to one again. The loss GST council. For manufacturer, now here, now we have, as a trader, I will enter only one percent. So in in the place of one percent, one per one uh, percent of tax, I need to enter my three months, the last last uh, July and August and September total turnover. For example, I am just showing you. Here I am here. I just entered only twenty thousand. It is dividing automatically one hundred again and in one hundred.
you were mentioning 40,000 she had automatically be under 200 and again 200 now actually the tax is only 400 so by central 4 again the uh, central central 200 they in the state 200 after that click on go to home and now in this after filling the data in for uh, in all seats now here you can observe all the section had been blank right yeah to import the data from next sheet to this column just click on generate summary no so summary successfully generated now here you can observe all the section has been filled out now you supposed to click on generate gst r4 to upload on portal you see here be ensure all excel sheet should be zero errors now all the data has been imported to this sheet which uh, already entered in for 4b 4c again all my total terms has been imported to these sections words verify your data is all entries are right or wrong what so if, if there is any doubt you can compare even from the next sheets also if you feel is the, all the data is right just click on generate a json file to upload on portal just i'm just I'm just clicking on the same option look at the processing it may take just don't worry just click on directly ok yeah now here the data has the data in the sheets were successfully captured to js file and it was generated to save the same click on ok and this file is supposed to upload on the portal click on ok now it is giving a chance to save in my system now here i'm just going to save in my system in my downloads maybe in the scrub i download whatever it is and open to the portal click on prepare offline in the portal select your uh, select your quarter period and click on prepare offline and again click on choose file by clicking on this choose file you need to select your file and again i already saved in my desktop sorry in my downloads i just saved here i'm just opening the i'm just uploading the same file you select your file and upload in the portal after that will give the message to you as uh, as for successful message as for successful upload look here it is giving the message as your json file has been uploaded successfully so this is a way to file your gst of four returns for the for the quarter period for more updates on gst like and subscribe my channel if there is any doubts with you just drop my comment box